Claude Schulz is 108 years old, a veteran with a failing body, but a still lively mind. Claude, I've got to ask you a question, love. How are you? How are you feeling? Good. Good? Yes. You look good. Yeah, thank you. Yes, you look quite perky. Yeah. Thank you. Good. This is a painting of Claude as a young man. Born in Worcestershire, he joined the Royal Navy in 1916. At the age of just 14, during the Great War, he was part of the 1st Battle Squadron and served aboard its flagship, HMS Revenge. Claude bore witness to the surrender of the German Imperial Navy and its scuttling in 1918 in Scarpa Flow off the Orkney Islands. They knew they didn't have any more chance. Uh, if they did, they, they'd given, given up hope and uh, it was left to us. It was up to us to decide what was going to happen to them then. So we decided they were going to be capsized and sent, sent up to Scapa Flow in the Orkneys. Yep. That's where they went. We went with them. Yeah. Recently he was told that he's now Britain's last surviving Great War veteran, following the death of the last Tommy, Harry Patch. Oh, what a bad luck. <laughs> Just bad luck. It's bad luck, that's all. His number was on there, and that was it. This is Anzac Day at Fremantle War Memorial. His daughter his Daphne is in her 80s herself, and her home is like and a gallery. A Pictures day. of Claude's medals and ribbonry. Okay. He's the only person living to have served in both world wars. And portraits painted by his grandson, charting his remarkable life and longevity. In the mid-1920s, he came to Australia on loan from the Royal Navy and decided to transfer permanently to the Royal Australian Navy. He lived and raised his family in the Western Australian seaport of Fremantle, where he served during World War II and has since become an Australian citizen. Since leaving his homeland, he's never once returned. Well, uh, it's, a, it's an unpleasant journey if you were not in the kingpin of the, of the team. And uh, it's, uh, it's a long waste of time, I think, getting you there. <laughs> As others have passed away, history has closed in on him. But as befits a veteran of two world wars, he's taken it in his stride. <laughs> oh, no, no worries. No worries. <laughs> just the luck of the draw, darling. Oh, yeah, just, yes, just luck. Yeah. Nick Bryant, BBC News, Perth.